Okay, so we have a brand new 2019 Peterbilt 389. We decided to bring this truck kind of a classic old school look. So it's a hood, big Cummins, 18 speed stick. It's kind of rare to find in a custom sleeper today. Everybody's looking for automatics. But it's 144 inch ARI. Uh, it's got the Dark Knight feature interior. We've dressed it up a little bit with some blue lights, as you can see, and uh, you know, custom backsplash and some other other niceties. So, uh, how many? How much horsepower does the engine have? It's 525 horsepower. And this is an automatic, like the rest no, of it. It's a manual transmission. 13. 18 speed manual. Get out of town. Yeah. So. Almost everyone's going with an automatic now. That's 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 the trend. Mm -hmm. you know, you're spending a quarter of a million dollars on a truck. Automatic so it seems the way to go. But this is this is kind of the old school look. The guys that like the old Peterbilt hood. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. With. So it's the old school look, but it has all the new amenities in it. Absolutely. So does well, a big question here. The, I'm a Freightliner guy personally. Okay. okay. That one has the 50% turn radius. Does this have the 50%? It 50 does not turn very well. <laughs> but that's what the old school guys look for. They look for the narrow cab, that like they used to have in the old days. Uh -huh. So it's a narrow cab. Uh, it's a set forward axle, so it doesn't turn as well as a setback axle would. Yeah, but as they would say, if you know how to drive, you wouldn't need it in certain though. That's cool, that's cool. Well, I do like the whole blue situation y'all have going on here in the back. If I was to order one, would I be able to customize that light whatever color I wanted? Yes. With the LEDs they have out today, uh, you can pretty much get any color you want. Uh, the, the blue seems to be a nice trend. The guys at the, at the truck stops, they'll park, turn the blue lights on. And those, those do change back to the normal colors when you're driving. It's amber on the side, really? red in the rear. Yes. That is fancy. So it's just a different switch on the dash. And, colors. and it changes colors. Wow. Is there like a way I can hit, get you to hit the button and make it switch? Does it do that? Can you do that? Uh, probably not. Yeah, with all the people. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool because that's definitely something they would have wanted to see. Like, that is fancy, man. I really like that. Now, like I asked with all, the, all of them, price tag wise, if I wanted to get one of these, an the average one, what, what, what would it be? The average price to get into it's probably in the $230,000 range. Mm -hmm. And it'll go up to, you know, obviously the bigger, the bigger sleeper you get, the more amenities you get. Mm -hmm. You know, you start start getting the satellites and all the, the yeah. real nice creature features. You know, it, it can go up to 270. You know, they'll, they'll jump up almost by the foot. You know, maybe five, five to seven thousand dollars. So, have you sold a few of these? I've sold several hundred. Now. What is it? this is this is going to be a, a big question here? What is the main division of the people who buy these? Is it flatbed? It, it's or? it's hard to say. Hard to group them into a certain, but a lot of flatbed guys mm -hmm. will run that. A lot of the man line guys, you know, yeah. the household movers, things like that. Where they yeah, see, they have a lot of them. Right. Exactly. So they'll they'll do that because they they tend to sit. They don't run as many miles. Uh, the other category would be people who run a lot of miles, teams, but they're they're out there all the time with their wives, mm -hmm. uh, you know, husband and wife. Generally, the, the owner is probably in the in their mid 40s. On yeah. up. They, they've had other trucks, but they finally got got to the, the one they want. They, they finally stepped up to it. The few people I've talked to say that they sold their house and they live in it. Like they just that's correct, and that's why they want all the amenities. They want all the features that you get in your house. Mm -hmm. Well, that is fancy. I appreciate you. What's your name here? Ted Yale. Ted Yale. Do y'all have a, uh, what is y'all sales number at? I know y'all usually have it posted somewhere on here, so I can uh, definitely get right front on the, on the front door. I appreciate you, Faith. Thank you so no much. Problem. You're going to be next time, Randy. You All can't right. get out of this. We'll do. Yeah, that make a difference. Yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. Let's go over here and see how we can call Steve here. This is, see that? And Steve's in me. You call him, you bug me, you tell him, try, I seen you on Trucker Rams channel. Tell Randy, get on the camera, stop hiding, man. Beautiful truck, beautiful truck. I'm a Freightliner guy, though. Uh, I think I'm gonna jump in real quick. Are you about to go in here? I didn't want to jump in front of you. Speed. <laughs> All right. Oh, 
coming up there. Excuse but... me, sirs. I don't want to bump in your seat? way here. I just want to do the work. stove. Quick pan around. That's it. TV. Alright, where's the bed? Right here. And then this just folds down and lays right here. The main thing that anybody's going to want to see back here is how we've got this uh, counter space a little bit. Uh, you've got about 9, 10 inches to where it's put inside. So basically, when you're standing here and you're cooking, you've got room here and people could still walk by. Oh. It, it really puts in a lot more space. Another thing is this recessed stove. You can cook while you're driving and it isn't going to slide in and out. That is amazing. Yeah. So, and this also comes with a top plate that makes it a flat surface. So if you're not cooking, you've got flat countertop. The other main features is all of these. They all lock in place. So your doors won't be open and up. The, uh, the main thing about Peterbilt mm -hmm. compared to every other OEM manufacturers, if you take a look in here, okay. right up top, we've got more headroom. You won't have all your cabinets and stuff to bang your head out. You can actually stand up inside a Peterbilt. Well, that's that's a new thing for Peterbilt, isn't it? Well, that's uh, that's that's a Peterbilt exclusive thing. So when people are looking at ARI trucks, mm -hmm. Peterbilt will be the only one with that kind of uh, space. Yeah, that space for your overhead inside the cab of the truck. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right, ARI, I've officially done every single one of your sleepers, except for the Freightliner one, because see, the other guy got busy and he had to leave. So I'll catch that next time. That's the only one I haven't done. Steve, the best for last, pretty much. Now, this is this is a nice one here. I'm particularly into that one, but check me out. We all we have to do is ask the owner and the dealership and say, you know what, we should give Trucker Brown one of these free and that way he could test it out on the road and that way we'll know if it's awesome or not i could build my whole vlog around it look there's steve right there talking i can build my whole vlog around it right that way y'all get the people i get the truck free everybody's happy just throwing it out there listen people i love the people down there at ari they're a good sport they they they, they make beautiful trucks with the best, and I do mean the best quality possible. Excuse me, sir, you're all right. The best quality possible. And if I had the money and I was just gonna run down there and get me a super sleeper completely decked out, I would only, only go to ARI. That's it. Think about that free truck. Now, and uh, what do you want to say here, Steve? Hey, this is a happy new Peterbilt owner. He's got one of those big, fancy ARI custom sleepers and a Peterbilt, and he loves it. What do you think? That was like the best thing we've ever had out of 40 years of trucking. Why didn't you go uh, Freightliner for a quick question? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> you set this up with this guy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My name's Steve Solner. Give me a call. We're happy to help you with anything you need. My phone number is 469-706-5229. Give me a call. Thank you. Thank you, sir.